Hey guys, all right, this video is totally different. We do a really in-depth interview, but we do have a second channel known as Famous Interviews. We got like 50,000 subscribers, and we're gonna be doing more interviews on that channel. I just talked to Young Gravy, it was amazing, and I got a whole bunch of other guests that are booked. So be sure to go over there, hit subscribe, but for now, enjoy this video. PP Cocaine, she's blowing up like nobody else. All right guys, today we got a great interview. I'm sitting out with PP Cocaine. Now you helped me out with her before they were famous video. Thank you so much for participating. But so much has happened since. Like you're a bona fide star these days. How's it feel? It feels good, thank you. Are people stopping you in the streets? Like do they know who you are now? It really just depends on what I'm wearing. Like if I have no pink like material on, not really, but like if I like set up or like post on my Instagram where I'm gonna be at, then yeah, like people will come up and say hi to me. Totally. Now are these face tattoos new or are these these legit or are these like fake? No, they're real. Um, this one that, like this X right here, I've always had, but like when you get tattoos on your face, they fade sometimes because like your face creates natural oils. But like all the other, like the other five, I have Trap Bunny and then I have a heart here, the X here. I have a date right here on the side and then I have a dollar sign here. Wow, I didn't actually catch those the first time, but you've always, so you've had those for a while. Well, no, I just recently got like these five done, but like the X I've always had done, it just faded. Right, wow, wow. And you're so young, right? You're only like, how old are you, 19? Yes, I'm 19. My God, how does your parents feel knowing that you've you've done what you've done in such a short period of time? My grandparents and my dad are really proud. Like they, like, they support me with everything. Obviously my music isn't something they turn on in their radio and turn it up, but like, they're proud of me for what I'm doing and like how successful I'm getting. Now you, you've you pushed the envelope. Like some of your stuff has me howling. Like I'm like, this is, this is, this is some, uh, we've raised the crazy generation seeing what you're doing with this, but it's so entertaining. Uh, have you had people say like, like has there been backlash for some of your like sexualized content? Oh, there's always backlash, but it's just like, at the end of the day, like I just have to learn to not pay attention to it because at the end of the day, this is what I want to do. So it's like, I'm, there's there's going to be backlash and there's there's going to be good publicity and bad publicity, but at the end of the day, all publicity is good publicity, so. Yeah, as long as you put yourself out there, people are going to talk about you and, and a good 30% only talk trash. So you're not alone. We've all been there. So what's, what's going on? So you just dropped the music video for Three Musketeers, is that right? Yeah, me and Next Youngin, we uh, we had a lot of fun shooting that because it was like our first like professional, professional music video. So it was really fun. I On your Instagram, I was like, a star is born. You like, there was a huge glow up. Like, did you get like, was that your first time having makeup and costumes and all that stuff? Yeah, it was my first time like having like a stylist getting my makeup done and my hair done. It was so exciting because it's like, I really like to like, you know, like self pamper myself. So like when like I have like being pampered, like that's really fun. I love seeing this. Like you're you're literally doing it. The whole world is like whatever you want to make it at this point. <laughs> Thank you. Is money starting to come in? Are you like you getting money off streams? I saw you signed it like a record label. Yeah, my record, like my record, um, I signed a really good deal with Columbia, like so I have that money right now and I used it to buy my first car. So I got a Tesla Model X. It's lit. Ah, 19 years old, she's got a Tesla. I don't even have a Tesla. Wow. <laughs> but I like, I get money like on features and stuff. Like music money like kind of hits in like quarters. It doesn't exactly hit like every week. You know, it's not like a nine to five. So like, I'm gonna get my money for streams. It's just not gonna come right this second. That's great. No, for sure. If I'm seeing like my YouTube video keeps growing, that means like millions of people are listening to your music. So cha-ching, congratulations. Thank um, you. Next young is, is she sitting there with you? Yeah, she's right here. I want to see, will, will, she, will she let me do it before they're famous on her? Do you want to do it before they're famous? Yeah, sure. Yeah, she's, she's down. Okay, we'll follow up. I'll, I just followed her on Instagram. Okay, cool. Cause I saw, so you guys were just on Genius? Yeah. How'd that go? It was good. Sorry, I was playing my PSP. Nope, <laughs> no problem. Thanks for joining. What was the uh, genius experience? Where did you have to go to film that? Nowhere in the living room. Like it was a Zoom call. So it was like, we just had to set up the background to look nice. And then it was like, they was telling us the questions and stuff. It was really like informal. One day though, we're gonna do it. Like we both can, we are gonna do genius interviews that aren't like that are in the studio. Cause like, I want to go to the studio where they record it. <laughs> 
Yeah, for sure. Tell me, uh, how is COVID treating you? Are you guys like, I see you, you've been out on this, like you've been out on Hollywood Boulevard and stuff, but has it kind of like been a downer or what? It's like kind of depressing because I know that like if COVID wasn't active right now, then I could be doing shows, I could be going on tour, but I can't do that right now because of COVID. So it does suck, but at the same time, it's helpful because it helps me like build my career that way when I do go on tour and stuff, it's way more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely got everyone on the internet a lot more and like figuring out what works for them. And I see like you're you're big on the live chat, even though you got banned. Is that right? Yeah, I got banned a few times, but I just I just wait out the ban and then I go back live. What did you get banned for? I threatened my followers, but it was like they was making me so mad. They literally would go on there and like say nothing but negativity, and it's like, why are you following me if that's what you're here for? Like, if we're gonna be negative, like don't do that. And I threatened them all, and then. They was like, report, 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 report. And it was like, your, your life's banned for promoting harm. Oh my God, I totally hear you. I understand that. Um, a question, I'm sorry, I, I, was, I thought you guys were dating. Am I wrong in thinking that? Yes, we are not dating. Oh no, I apologize, I made a mistake. I, I assumed you guys are so close, right? Yeah, we're really close, but we're just not in a relationship. Sorry, my bad. That's me making assumptions here. The, the, they call me the fact god, but I make I make mistakes like everybody else. Uh -huh. So uh, so what are you guys doing like uh, outside of making music? Are you are you partying? Are you are you out celebrating your success or just work work work? We just be chilling to be honest, because this is really nothing to do because of COVID. You know, like little stuff we do try to do, like when we do travel, we like tell the fans, you know, pull up to the mall, we're here, but we're only taking pictures with you if you have a mask. So like. We do little stuff like that so that we can interact with the fans. Yeah, you got it, because you can get another backlash if you just step out there and hold like a, a meet and greet, and then everyone will like put a big headline around it like you're breaking the rules, right? Yeah. But we tend to just go in public places. Like if the mall is open, then we're gonna go there. If you happen to see me walking through the mall, say hi. Like we don't have meet and greets where it's like, come to this spot, and this is exactly where we're gonna be. Like I will, I'll post saying that. I'm gonna be at this mall shopping. If you want to say hi, come say hi. Wild. What about like blasts from the past? Like now that you're popping, have you had like people you went to high school with like all of a sudden return into your life being like, yo, uh, I f***ed you. And you're like, no you didn't, f*** you. Of course, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Any people you want to like shout out saying like, f*** you Chad. <laughs> you Taylor. Andrea, you Tia, dead ass, all you. You can all lick my nuts now. Cause you're the like girls gave you a hard time in high school. Is that right? Yeah, but at the same time, like it wasn't just them. Like I wasn't, I wasn't necessarily the best kid in high school. I was messy. If you had a girlfriend, I didn't give a fuck. I was gonna snatch her, whether I, whether you wanted me to or not. I was gonna get my way up in there like I was a bell getter and it was like because people were so mean to me it made me want to do shitty things even more so like I wasn't always I wasn't always an innocent girl like they bullied me for no reason like elementary school yeah they bullied me for no reason because I was cool to everybody in elementary school same with junior high but when high school came around I got my shit together and was like if y'all gonna be mean I'm gonna be 10 times mean wow okay you just gave me a bunch of questions I want to talk about being gay and then working at a strip club but I, while we're on the topic of high school, oh yeah, I just want to give you your devilishness, like you're like, you know, like naughty, mischievous way is like super appealing. Like I find that the most interesting part about you. So never lose that. Oh yeah, so, so oh yeah, so let's talk about the stripping. You, you did the stripping, right? Yeah, I danced at a club for a while. But you're not into men, so was that like tough? Were you like, oh, this sucks? It wasn't necessarily like, it didn't really suck because I really wanted to go dance because I like attention. Like I like being on the stage. I like people looking at me. But when guys would ask for like extras or like be too aggressive with me, like that's when it was like, ugh. like it's a me it's mentally draining. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause like so you've always been gay or bi or which one is it? Um, I in high school like and junior high, I was I tried to be bi because my grandparents weren't always approving of like me being gay. So it's like. 
I really tried to like do what was best for them, but really I had to realize what was best for me and I like girls, so I decided, you know what, they think I'm gonna be gay all the way. Um, like, well, amazing. You're so young, but like, a lot of people almost fake it now to like, I don't know, to appeal to that demographic and like to be so young and to have made that your decision and obviously like proud and amazing, but it's cool to see someone who's so authentic about it. What's your partnership? Like Next Young and are you a producer? You're the, what's your role? Are you are you on the tracks? Um, I'm an artist, like I haven't dropped, well I just dropped my first single like two or three days ago, but before like I had no music out. Like everything that happened for me, like it was all just brand new to me. Amazing. So, okay, so we're gonna get your before they were famous done, but like, ah, uh, I don't, I don't know if you guys realize how like amazing all this is, this internet blow up. Like for me, I came from like TV and traditional media, and it, it would take you like 20 years to get like a job that just paid rent. Like you can do anything you want now. You could turn your merch into a million dollars, and you guys are so young. You have so much potential and opportunity. When you get when you guys like, so when you make your first mill, what's something that like you want to do with like, what, what, like, what are you striving towards? Um, I plan to buy my dad a house. <laughs> he had a lot of money. I was going to say buy my family a house. Yeah, I want to yeah. buy my dad a house because, you know, like my relationship with my dad wasn't always the best, but now it's very, very good. And I just want to give back to him because, you know, he supported me regardless. And like, he's always supported me, but because I was a teenager and I was on that fuck my parents stage, I really didn't give him the time of day. And he was still there. Like, he still cares about me. So it's just like, I'm just trying to give back to him and make sure that he's straight. Amazing. I think I bought my parents cars. That, that was, I couldn't, I was going to buy their house, but then at Apocalypse, kind of cut my income in half, but I did buy, I bought my dad three trucks because he kept crashing them. And then I bought my mom and my aunt some cars. But uh, yeah, no, I'm excited for you guys. That's uh, that's really gonna be sweet. And then what about your grandparents? Where did, are they, they're still working? Are they retired? No, they're both, they're both retired. Um, my grandma's a retired nurse. My grandpa, he's a retired, um, he used to work for DWP, Department of Water and Power, who's on the power side. And they have a house, they bought their house, they love their house, so I know that nothing, I, can, I can't buy them a house because they love the house that they're in. Cool. Uh, yeah, I just thought I'd bring them up. I remember you mentioning them. Um, and uh, what else? So like, who's like your dream collaborators you want to work with in the near future? Um, I want to work with uh, Shoreline Mafia and Coach Chavis and the baby and Justin Bieber. I know Justin Bieber might be a reach, but like, I love Justin Bieber, but like, I want to work with all of them. It, and listen, it could happen, man. Like I'm seeing King Batch and uh, Timothy Delegato, like guys I came up with, they're they're hanging with them on the regular now. Yeah, I've seen that too, that's dope. <laughs> he seems like a really cool kid. <laughs> like, I wanna work with Rico and like, I see that already coming true because I text her, we text, we're friends. Like I really appreciate her. She'd be there for me. So I really like really, really wanted to work with her growing up. Like that's who I listened to. All the like anger she had in her songs. That's, that's like, I love it. I like, I feel for that. And you've already connected. You're our, like uh, no longer friends, but you're no longer just a fan, you're friends. Mm -hmm. And like, that's so cool to me to see like all the people that I used to look up to like, now, I say like a lot, I'm sorry, but all the people I used to look up to, I can like talk to them and have like a conversation with them and then not be like me going, oh my God, I love you so much. It's like, what are you doing today? How you been? How's your emotional state? Like, it's really like fun to see that I'm really talking to these people. Well, like who's, give me some names, like Trippy Red, like who, who? I wish, I want a song with, ooh yeah, that's who I want a song yeah. with. I want a song with Trippie Red so bad, and I also want a song with the Young Thug. Like those two, I'm like, I'm feeling for those. That's cool, I can see it happening. I feel like you're so, there's not a, there's not a lot of people like you out there. Thank you. So that's gonna- I, I, Unique. Definitely that, original. <laughs> and that's the winning ticket, that's gonna put you in high demand. Um, so any other surprise celebs pop into your DMs that you were like, whoa! Do you recall? I'm trying to think too. Um, I don't know. Like, every time it happens, you scream. 
Um, who hit me up that I screamed about? Wasn't it one of them, Stunner or uh, Doja? One of them, somebody DM'd you. Um, or they posted your uh, DDLG on their page. Oh, Rico. Rico. <laughs> Rico. Yeah. Oh, and Bali Baby. Bali yeah, Baby, Bali yeah. Baby. yeah. I, I uh, like her. And she retweeted, she said something, on, she, re she posted a tweet, and then I responded to her tweet, and she retweeted it, and then I'm just gonna send her some like beats so that we can collab, so it's lit. Amazing, and you have your all your friends are like your your crew, right? Like your mixers, your producers, all your stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all live together. Yeah, like it's one big family where we all do something important. Wow, you guys are set. What part of LA are you living in? Hollywood. Right, of course. Amazing, awesome. Um, oh, what about the Hollywood Fix? How would you hook up with them? Um, well, they just catch me slipping. Like he just catches me slipping. Like he just like finds he's he's weird. Like he just finds people. <laughs> so okay, we talked about who you who you like and who you want to be you work with or want to work with. But is there people online like are there people that you hate? Like is there a, a demographic of like TikTokers or influencers and you're like that shit's corny? There's definitely influencers. Like there's definitely artists that I would not work with, and it's not really on like. Like some of them I don't like because of their personality. Some of them I don't like because of the way they work. Some of them I don't. It's not I don't wanna. I just wouldn't work with them, but I'd still like be friends with them. I just wouldn't work with them because our sounds aren't like compatible. But there are celebrities that I'm not fucking with because when I was just barely trying to get started, and like they would respond to my DMs on some like I'm a celebrity, shit. and it's like I don't even respond to my DMs like I'm on like I'm a celebrity shit. I respond to all my DMs. I try to get through all of them. Like I'm very open. I talk to I talk to people, and I want I hit people up on work, like on work business, and they treated me like I was a fan. But then when my follower account got higher than theirs, they wanted to DM me and tell me keep up the good work. And it's like, bitch, I wanted to work with you. You couldn't been keeping up the good work with me, but you decided to be bougie. Good, good for you. That's the best way to do it. That's the best way to do it. Remember who helped you and everyone who doubted you. Exactly, exactly. Like all the people who wanted to, who I wanted to work with or people who I was really trying to like collab with or just link with and just hang out with. Now that they want to hit me up, it's like, <laughs> you. like why, why are you talking to me right now? Love it. Uh, live, love, serve. How'd you, how'd you hook up with them? They did a reaction video to my first song and it was really tea. And like they, I'm pretty, I don't, I think it was Rhino who hit me up and like we decided we were gonna link and then hang out. And now like they're really close friends of mine. Like I appreciate them a lot. Yeah, you guys did, you got millions of views off those collabs. It wrote really well. Yeah, and we put them in the Three Musketeers video. Oh yeah, that's right. That, so there's, they're, you're tight, that's amazing. That's, yeah. they're good kids. They, they're really nice. And they're not fake on the internet. Like hanging out with them, their personalities are very, very similar to what they portray on the internet. And I like that because I don't like people who be one way on the internet but act different when you hang out with them. Like you, I am one that like keeps up my persona. You feel me? Trap any bubbles, TV cocaine. That's me. I keep that persona up when I'm when the cameras aren't out. So it's like when people act different, that is weird. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta watch out. There's it, and, and show business in general, it's always been very doggy dog. So I'm I'm really glad you've you've surrounded yourself with fantastic friends. And so so far, the people you've chosen to work with, which include me, have been all like super great people. <laughs> yeah. So I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, we're gonna get working on next youngins before they're famous. I'll follow up with an email. But uh, I think those are all the questions I have. I'd love to keep in touch with you because I think you're just gonna be like the female version of Trippy Red, essentially. And uh, I, wanna, I wanna stay in contact with you as your career continues to explode. Of course. One more question. Where do you stand on 6ix9ine? Do you, do you say him or, or do you like him? A lot him? of people compare me to him because I scream and I'm annoying, but I don't believe in what he stands for. He's done some pretty up things and it's like things that he's done stuff Basically, that is the right. I don't give a 
if it was statutory rape or if it was regular rape. Like, he's a rapist. And as someone who survived sexual assault several times, I'm not affiliating myself with someone who, who knew that. Yeah. Uh... I, I agree with you 100% and uh, I thought you were going to talk about the snitch, but uh, yeah, those past allegations, he totally got booked on, uh, from what I know, he, I don't know if he had sex, but s someone was having sex with her while he was present. Is that what we're talking about or is there other, is there other allegations I'm not familiar with? I've heard allegations that there was a girl that was 13 and there was like four men in the room, etc. And it's like, regardless if you were there, regardless if you were the one having sex she was 13 that's rape like you, you if you were there and you didn't stop that shit that's rape you contributed in the rape i don't care i love this girl she's like so young and has such great moral compass i think that's a great great the best answer i've heard it's great thank you all right we're gonna wrap it up thanks again so much to you guys let's stay in touch of course, of course. all right talk soon Thank you. Bye. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, we drop a new video each and every day, so here's a recent drop that you might enjoy. We handpicked that one for you because if you like this video, you'll probably like that. We also got playlists like over here, so click on that if you want to see a whole list of a bunch of videos we've dropped in the past. And if you're new to the Fame Gang, be sure to subscribe and turn on them post notifications, and I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!